Hello friends and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a coffee filter butterfly. All you need are coffee filters, washable markers, pipe cleaners, and a little bit of water. I'm using a straw to help me um, just do really small drops of water. You can also use a pipette or you can use a spoon if you have one. Um, and then I have this tray that I'm going to use to actually color and then drop my water onto the filter. That way it's all contained in one area. But you may want to make sure that you're using a surface like a table and you can protect it by putting down newspaper because the marker might bleed a little bit into whatever you're working on. So first things first, we're going to get our tray, move this aside. All right, I have a stack of just white coffee filters. I think I bought these at the dollar store here in Moore Park. And you're going to take two of them. Now they're really thin, so make sure you only got two, because, yep, it looks like I got three. All right, I'm going to keep my coffee filters stacked together. And I'm gonna just try to flatten it as best as I can. All right, and now we're going to choose our colors to decorate. A couple tips when doing this. Um, be mindful of the colors that you're using, although all butterflies are beautiful. Um, here is a coffee filter I did. You could say I used purple, green, and this was actually supposed to be pink, but it came out red. I didn't leave a lot of white space. Um, I put a lot of color on this. And as you can see, the colors, because they're darker, kind of blended together um, and didn't come out quite like I wanted it to. On the other hand, here's another one I did with just blue and red, and I left too much white space, so it came out um, much fainter than I kind of wanted it to. But that's, again, okay, because butterflies come in all different shapes and colors. Um, my favorite though has been this rainbow one I did. So basically you wanna make sure that you're leaving probably about that much space between your colors so that when you add water and the water spreads and causes the colors to bleed, um, they'll bleed into one another a bit better and they won't kind of become all muddled. So let's go ahead and decorate this one. I'm gonna take some orange. And you can do whatever you want. So I've got just these big old dots I wanna do. Just put one in the center. Okay. And I'm gonna get some yellow, kind of triangle looking things. And so my two coffee filters are stacked one on top of the other. And I'm only coloring on the top, let's see. I'm only coloring on the top one. Now that's still a lot of white space. So what I may come in here and do, I'm gonna do a bunch of these just polka dots. I don't know what's going to happen with this, but that's kind of the fun of it. Maybe this comes out super pretty. Maybe it all gets muddled. Who knows? All right, so I'm just kind of filling in. All of my white spots but I'm still leaving a lot of white. Okay, so now for the fun part. And this is where if you have a tray, so you can use a baking sheet. We happen to have these at the, the library here. Um, go ahead and put it on top and you're gonna take your water. And this is just plain tap water. Um, and I'm using my straw. So my straw, I put it in the water and I'm covering one end. And what that allows me to do is actually trap water in the straw. And you see, I like when I take my finger off, oops, the water drops out. So 
again, I'm gonna get some water and I'm just going to drop it. There we go. Um, you want to get your coffee filter all the way wet, but you don't want to do too much water because then you'll lose some of the color. It'll wash out. So just kind of doing drops. This will also, uh, once it's fully wet, using less water will help it dry faster. So what you're gonna wanna do is after everything, oops, I'm almost done. Okay, all right, so these are pretty wet and what should hopefully happen if you've kept them stacked is that the color from the top filter will bleed through to the bottom filter. Another fun way to do this is you could actually fold up your coffee or color, fold up your coffee filter and then put just a tip in the water and watch the water get absorbed through the filter and the color spread that way. But this is also another way of doing it, just dropping the water on it. Uh, to help speed up the drying process, you wanna very carefully peel your two and you should have pretty identical looking um, coffee filters. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this tray. I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside so that they'll dry. I'm gonna move that underneath here. And now with your dry coffee filters, so these I just put outside in the sun. Uh, it took less than 30 minutes to dry, but if you wanna leave them inside where it's a little bit cooler, it might take longer. You definitely wanna make sure that your coffee filter is dry though to avoid getting, although I already have um, marker on my fingertips, but by working with a dry coffee filter, you are avoiding that. All right, so we take our coffee filters and we are just going to we're just going to fold it like an accordion. So there's one fold, I flip it over, and then I'm gonna fold it back on itself, okay? And it doesn't have to be perfect, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna fold the other side. Okay, and we're gonna do this to both of our coffee filters. Ooh, that kind of looked like a watermelon. Okay, you see I made that one a little bit bigger. And you wanna try to keep them about the same size, but if they're not perfect like that one, that's okay too. All right, and let's go ahead and fold our other coffee filter. So again, it's accordion style. So I'm folding it on itself and then flipping it over and then folding it again. I'm just doing that all the way across the coffee filter. And maybe one more. All right, one more after that. There we go. Perfect. So now your two coffee filters are folded. We're gonna stack them on top of each other. And then we're going to take a pipe cleaner and you're just gonna wrap it around your coffee filter. Okay, so I wrapped it around about three times and now I'm going to twist this around itself. And you wanna make sure that you leave some that's long enough, and that did not come out even, that's okay. Um, you wanna leave it long enough so that we have their little antenna. There we go, and I'm gonna curve it. And then for the wings, you just need to very gently open up those little accordion fans, okay? So there we go, we're gonna open that one up. And actually, I was worried about how this, the colors on this one would be, but I actually really like it. And there you go. There is your coffee filter butterfly. Look how pretty that is. And so you can use any color combos you want. 
just remember that the darker the colors, it's gonna bleed a bit darker and they, the colors might muddle and so they might be darker than maybe you anticipated. Also make sure that you leave white space. So just a little bit of white between will help those to not blend so dark. But remember, if you leave too much white space, it's gonna come out much lighter. So play around with it, have fun. Like I said, the coffee filters are super cheap. You can find them at the dollar store. Uh, washable markers, that's the key. They need to be washable. They don't have to be Crayola. In fact, this is like a Lakeshore one. Um, Mr. Sketch, which are the scented ones, are also good. And then pipe cleaners. So I hope you enjoy today's craft. I will see you guys next Wednesday at 1030 for story time followed by craft. Goodbye, everyone.